Hi, this is Subhu, Rigging Artist and Programmer. Welcome back to part 2 in Auto Board Rigging. Today I am going to show how to create a GUI through Python programming in Blender. This is the panel we have created in the part 1. I am not going to show everything whatever we have done here, but I will show how to create a text field here and checkbox, float field group and drop down menu and a button. Button is the operator. It operates on these fields. This is the text panel. We will enter all the script here and execute from here. This is the information panel. Most of the times whatever the work we are doing here, it will be updated here. This is the Python console. Here we can execute one line at a time. In this video, now I will show how to create a text manually and then through programming here. Shift A Text. Now we will go to edit mode backspace. Now we will type ESY Easy Bird. Again tab to come back to object mode. Here we can go to origin geometry to origin we'll update some we'll give some depth to it we'll extrude a little bit This is the one. It has created the text. With this we have toggled to the menu, edit mode. With this we have entered, edit, after entering into edit mode we have deleted that four letters by default they have created our TEXT text. Later we have added EASYBIRD with gap. EG gap B I R D bird. Again we have turned back to toggle mode, edit mode. Now we will copy all this selection to here. We can delete this one. Alt P to run this script. Now we will see how we will create this easy bird again by using this panel. Now we don't need to write all these lines through programming here. Whatever we are the text entering here, we can get it through one line sentence in this place. Now let us see, instead of going for all these seven lines, we will go for We'll use for loop here. This text name includes all these letters individually. Each font indicates individual letters from this string here. Now we'll delete all these lines, whatever they are doing up to here, and this line also. We'll give indentation for this. Since we have imported from BPY import star, we don't know, need this BPY. In this place of letter E, we'll replace with font. Whatever available font here, this indicates each letter here. So this loop executed on all the letters of this easy bird. Now we'll delete this. We'll execute this. Due to time constraint, I have added these are these are the lines. This will create these lines will create depth and set the origin to the center for this object. Press Alt P. Now we can see this is the board, easy board created and shifted to the left side. 
temporarily I am converting all these lines to comments. Press comment here. This is the class we are, we are going to use it here for creating this panel. We can go to splash screen. Python API reference is available here. In this, we can go to BPY dot types. In the types, we can go to panel. These are the Blender default variables for the panel class. Some of the variables are ID name, region type, and space type. We can use it in our training demo. The label name we can see it here. Auto ball rigging is a label name. Some other options like region type and space type also we will use to fix the panel where it should be in our window. Here label name we are giving auto ball training. Space type we are going to fix it for view 3D. We can see some other options also here. Space types, empty, view 3D, graph editor, outliner, properties and file browser. Like any other panel we can use it for our space type. Sorry, any other space we can use it for our panel. The region type falls the space type. Here we are taking the tools region from view 3D. This draw definition is useful to design our panel. The layout command is useful to draw rows and columns in our panel. Like here, the self dot layout indicates as shown above space type, region type, and label. From that, it will grab the information for rows and columns. Now nothing is updated here, still we should design our layout. We will change this name to label name to Autobot Training Center. Yeah, some training center. Yeah, birds will be made. <laughs> Due to time constraint, I have copied all this text here. We can see various rows are defined here, including some plain lines. The supply rig name here it shows the button name. This is a variable name for button command. Now I have copied one more class here. This class is useful for execution of the button. text setup. In this one more definition includes execute. ID name is for variable name for this button. 
Label name is something, it appears on the button. Description is what we can see as a pop-up message when we place our cursor on the button. This execute command is executed when we press the button. Self dot report it returns finished when this executes complete its content. Self dot report it reports the information whether it is succeed or failed something like in the header area of the total window. You can type some name created name successfully. Once task is done successfully, this report we can see it here. We'll change this name to generate rig names. We are generating some rig names based on count. Now we will uncomment this and copy to this execute definition block. We will make indentation for this. run the script again. This is the area here, here we can define sorry we can assign names for the variables for the properties. These props names whatever available in this panel we can check it here. Rig name is is the variable name with that variable name we can get the content from the panel name of the rig even we can assign rig name from this command window if we assign peacock from here it will be updated peacock Now we will replace this manual easy bird with the variable name called rig name. It directly access the rig name from our panel. Now we have created easy bird rig based on number of names as above 1. If you want more number of names we can define that also later. Now we are going to check for Peacock. Boolean operator we can check it something like this whether we need plain text or the one with the depth. We can check this with this variable plain text whether it is true or false. It means whether we need plain text or bulged one, something like extruded one. If context dot scene dot plain text, execute the log. Make it indent for this. check it once. Sorry. If 
only plain text if this is on then only we should have plain text so here we will add not if not plain text then only go for bulged one refresh it now we will check it once now we have got bulged one when it is not switched on if the plain text is switched on we can go only we can get only plain one so that we can use boolean operator like s or no if some option selected that only we, we can get it if some other option from that boolean like s or no we can decide a, any one of the two options here we can see it reported created rig name successfully yeah this is what from here this complete block is executed by this execution definition execute definition all this class is attached to this generate rig names button now we can check the integer prop this is what decides how many number of names we have to print it integer field group can decide any choice of our number if num names are greater than 1 go for this for loop if it is greater than one number quantity it prints more number of these easy bolts with some spacing if it is 8 it goes for 8 8 numbers that's how we'll use integer field group in combination with boolean field like plain text Now we can check it with plain text. Since it is one number only, it has printed only one. If it is three, with some spacing, it has printed three names. Now we'll change the name to some other one like Peacock. It prints now Peacock only. This is how user can input his own ideas in this panel due to this panel we can take more advantage we can have number of options on the fly thank you for watching